talk to us a little bit about the challenge from your vantage point and, and you know, as it relates to recruiting and retaining next gen talent to deliver the promise we make to our clients. I think about it in terms of intentionality. Um, the excuses I, I see, the talent's not there. I don't, buy that. I don't buy that excuse. It's BS. Yeah, that's BS. It's BS. Okay. All it takes is, is intentionality. Um, and it takes, as I was saying before, it takes perhaps rethinking about team dynamics and structure. So some of the larger firms are actually doing a good job bringing in younger talent, mm -hmm. diverse talent, as potentially a tech expert, as a client concierge, somebody that's going to hold the client's hands around digital you know, client portals and, and different things. It's a great way where they're able to um, apply their expertise, help the advisor who may not be as savvy, help the client who may not be as savvy, and start to build a relationship as you start to think longer term, how are we gonna bring these people through um, th through, a, through a, a, a work journey, a, a career journey, a career path and help them um, add value over time? Yeah, I think it was in one of your recent, maybe not recent, because I, I read all of them, your, your, your weekly wealth management report, um, where there was, a, there was an interesting thing they were talking about the business model and how the industry compensates kind of this eat what you kill model right. right and i still see this at a lot of the large firms i mean i started at a large national insurance company and they're a fantastic insurance company but whatever you sold you made 55 percent of or whatever the number was and and you know if you're a young person graduating college and you're talented and you've got student loans and you're kind of looking at the world and your friends go off to corporate america and they make you know 60 to 100 thousand dollars starting salary and you're at zero right it doesn't seem to me to be a lack of talent out there. It seems to me that we need a reorganization of thinking about investing in those people. Right. Like, hey, you're very valuable even if you don't have a client to bring in the door. Right. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the, the traditional models of you can you can be an advisor if you can bring some some group of people through. You're never going to get the change that that we want to see in the industry. So compensation practices, incentive compensation practices, ways to make sure things are aligned are, is ultra critical. And that goes to not just uh, talent acquisition and, and retention in, in career pathing, but um, behavioral, right? There's still, maybe it's on the larger end of the firms, perhaps less RIA, where things are focused on um, traditional product sales or even just quantity of plans being done yeah. versus quality. So I always say to my clients, okay, it's great that you're measuring how many plans for the firm and for advisor and all of that, but how are you tracking the quality of the plans? Mm -hmm. And how are you tracking with, with the client what's happening, where are the gaps to those plans? So that's an area where I'm, I'm really interested in, where I think technology can, can help to better track real time where are those gaps and make it a, a part of an ongoing process where the advisor, the client are collaborating.